Now we'll talk about solving systems of equations. A system of equations is simply a group of equations, more than one equation, like this. 2x plus y equals negative 5, and negative x plus 3y equals 6. This is considered a system of equations. Note that there are two equations in this case, and that we have two variables, x and y, in each equation there. This is a system of two equations and two variables. We could have a system of three equations and three variables, or you could have a system of four equations and four variables and so on. The techniques for solving them would be basically the same in every case. We're just going to look at systems of two equations with two variables. Also note that both of these equations, if we graphed them, would be lines. So these are linear equations, so this is sometimes called a linear system or a system of linear equations. What it means to find a solution here is to find a value, find a number for x and y, which makes both equations work. So we have to find an x and y value that we could plug into this first equation and make it true, and we also have to find x and y values that will satisfy this second equation. And there's an important geometrical interpretation to all of this too. If we were to graph these equations, each one would be a line. And this first equation, it might look something like this. There's some line in the xy plane, and every point on the line, say that point right there, for example, has an x and y value. And if we were to plug those x and y coordinates in, that equation would be satisfied. And that would be true for every point. You could take any point on this line and plug in the coordinates x and y and satisfy this equation. That's what it means for this line to be this equation. So every point on that line is a solution to this equation. Now this second equation will also be a line. And it might look something like this. And this, this line has points and every point on this line say that point right there for example has x and y coordinates and if we plugged those x and y coordinates in this equation would be satisfied and that's true for every point on this second line now these lines cross and this point right here is the one point that satisfies both equations that point is the x and y value or that point has coordinates that are the x and y values that satisfy the system that point is considered the solution to the system. Now finding that is our goal. That would be solving the system. And we'll look at three different ways to solve a system. Two that are algebraic, just manipulating, manipulating the numbers and variables as well as solving them graphically.